Ah. Huh. Could there have been something in it for him? Given his selfishness, would he have helped someone out? Oh, point out an accomplice. True. You might not help out anyone for their sake. But if it would benefit you, you might decide to assist someone. Mm. Mr. Wright, it appears you're positively determined to portray the chief as a nice man who likes to lend people a hand. That's not what I mean. <laughs> Very well, then. Who is this person you believe Chief Gant may have helped forge evidence? Would it have been Lana? Meekins. Hunter, did you save? Yes. I tell my boy that look on your face. It's almost enough to motivate me even uh, motivate even me to help you out. I hope you understand that's not a compliment. Chief Gant would have wanted something in return. Okay, so let's go back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just I really like presenting Meekin. But did you see he said something about blackmailing, so now we're gonna do Lana. Yeah. See, why does Wander do that? Because Meekin. <laughs> He just likes to try out. I want to see what stupid outcomes. shit gets said in relation to Meekins. Okay, anyway, it's Lana. The chief prosecutor, Lana Sky, the, the, the defendant? Mm. I believe it's quite obvious in light of the circumstances. Emma Sky fell victim to an unfortunate series of events. Who would want to help her more than her own sister, Lana? And as for Chief Gant, he would also have a reason to help Lana if she asked him to. That reason, of course, is self-profit. Self-profit? After the SL9 incident was resolved, Lana Sky was appointed Chief Prosecutor at the Prosecutor's Office. The person who arranged this job change was you, Chief Gant. But, but how would he profit from all this? They'd be able to use the chief prosecutor as his puppet. Essentially, they would acquire unchecked authority over all investigations. You mean to tell me that despite Chief's formidable appearance, he plays with puppets? Uh. Oh, wait. <laughs> you must mean puppet, is it? Someone forced to do his bidding. Never mind. <laughs> I was hoping for a puppet show. <laughs> A minute, Chief. You assisted Lana Sky in forging evidence. Your motive to appoint her as Chief Prosecutor so you could control her. Righto, my boy. You have quite an imagination. Let me ask you something. What? You have any proof of this that I controlled Lana? For example, is Lana testifying that I've done such a thing? Lana? She's keeping quiet to protect Emma. There's no way she'd testify against Gan. I'm afraid that without any proof, this is this all amounts to nothing more than mere conjecture. Unless, that is also what happened in this incident. This incident? Ah, uh, which one would that be? Of course I'm talking about... Mm -hmm. The murder of Detective Bruce Goodman. The Chief Prosecutor has been acting strange throughout this entire trial. Almost as if someone has been controlling her. Worthy, you better watch your tongue. I wouldn't want you to get hurt. Just what do you mean? What he means, Your Honor, is that Chief Gant is involved in the murder of Detective Goodman. Not only that, but the Chief is now making Lana take the rap to cover up his involvement. Or what? 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 Order! 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 I said order! Mr. Wright, you... you can't be serious! Huh? This... this is an affront to the highest ranking officer in our law enforcement agency to accuse the chief of police of blackmail and... and murder? That's... Uh, 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 impossible! I make my own ear resonate. I don't <laughs> like that. Your Honor, I was merely reiterating what Mr. Edgeworth said in easier to understand language. Ah, uh, that's questioning the judge's own intellect. It's too late, Mr. Wright. There's no turning back for us now. Looks like he's the one who's decided to go through with this. Can you prove this, Mr. Wright? 
The chief, a high-ranking officer of the law, is involved in this murder. Oh, well, this is an easy one. Mm -hmm. Good question. Regardless of his rank or title, Chief Gant is just a man. The question is, is he a criminal? I believe the evidence will tell. I see. All right, then. Let's see what Mr. Wright's got, and it better be good! Show us this evidence that ties Chief Gant to the murder of Detective Goodman. Well, we could show the entry. There yeah. You go. Nope. Wait. Oh, maybe. This is the ID card list. Yes, the one that shows who entered the evidence room on that day of the crime. There's one ID on the list we couldn't determine the owner of yesterday. 77777777. Sorry, but there's no way that you can prove that's my card number. It's your number. <laughs> what? How do you know that? The safe in chief Gant's office requires a code to open. A seven-digit code. Seven digits? You don't mean... I'm afraid so, Your Honor. The code was 77777777. The same as the remaining ID card number on that list. Chief Gan. <laughs> you entered the evidence room on the day of the crime. Ah, oh, look at that face. We're getting there. Order! Order! Chief Gant, what do you have to say? Uh... Nothing. The defense's search of my office was in violation of my of regulations. I will demand Mr. Wright be punished to the maximum extent of the law. But now this court demands an explanation of from you about the use of this ID card. Gah. Chief Gant, so you admit it? You entered the evidence room on the day of the crime. What about it? I'm the chief of police, whether it's the evidence room or the bathroom. What's the difference? I can go anywhere I want. Tell me, when you entered the room, were you alone? I always go to the bathroom alone, as I do with the evidence room. Detective Goodman would have happened to be with you that day, would he? Uh, of course not. Why would he be? I hadn't seen him in days. You hadn't seen him in days, Chief Gant. I'm afraid you've just undone yourself. On that day, you had to have met with Detective Goodman. What do you mean? This trial's purpose is to determine Lana Sky's guilt. No, it isn't, Your Honor. This trial's purpose is to determine the truth. Is Chief, If Chief Gant met with the victim on the day of the crime, then we need to determine one thing. What transpired during that meeting? In that case, Mr. Wright, I'm going to have to ask you for evidence. Show us proof that the victim went to meet with Chief Gant on the day of the crime. Uh... I mean... A lost item report, but that was for... Can only be submitted to the Chief of Police. Was that a lost ID card, or was that a lost... That was what that was evidence that Edgeworth was being sent. No, no, no. Well, yeah, this is. But no. Hmm. It, it's it. It's okay. the only thing. Okay. Detective Goodman lost his ID card on the day of the crime. Or to be more accurate, Jake Marshall stole it. So Detective Goodman f filled out a lost item report. He would have had to give that report to the chief of police. Yet you are in possession of the report, which means you can't be sure if he filed it. He filed it. How do I know, you ask? Because he needed to enter the evidence room that day. He needed to? Yes, to transfer the evidence out. Oh! Detective Goodman took the form to you, Chief Gant. Then, you accompanied the detective to the evidence room. I accompanied him. There's no other way the murderer and Detective Goodman could have entered the room. Hold on, let me guess what you're going to say next. I, the Chief of Police, murdered poor Goodman. Exactly. But 
Wait! The chief didn't necessarily need to accompany him into the evidence room. He could have lent him his ID card. Yes. Now that you mention it, I believe I might have... Sorry, but that's not possible. Uh, according to the record, your card was only used once. If you showed us your ID card earlier, if you had really lent it to Detective Goodman... It would have been found on him. It would have been found on his body. Mm -hmm. no! No! <laughs> that was a good image. I wish they showed it to us longer. It looks like it was a psychedelic lightning strike going on. Yeah, he was going super, super Gantman. Chief Gant, you... You didn't! <sighs> the murder was most likely a spur-of-the-moment crime, for no one in their right mind would choose the police department for a place to commit murder. After the murder, you contacted Lana at the prosecutor's office. Why? To dispose of Detective Goodman's body, of course. You're forgetting, Mr. Wright, that the victim's body was discovered in the prosecutor's office parking lot. How did he manage to move it there? I was at the police department the entire day, you know. And everyone's aware that Lana stayed at the prosecutor's office after the ceremony. Everyone except me, it seems. Still, you're the chief of police. You have an entire police force at your disposal. Oh, so you think I just ordered an officer to do it? Hey you, take this here body over to the prosecutor's office. I don't think so. Chief Gant, you left all the evidence we need. To prove how you moved the body of the prosecutor's office, and all this time I thought it was a useless clue that it was just taking up space. How could the chief have moved the body? Mr. Wright, show us this evidence. We're gonna save because there's like three things that we could have gone with, but mm -hmm. I think I know what I'm looking for. To move the victim's body, Chief Gant, use this. Screwdriver. This is how you move Detective Goodman's body. What's that? A screwdriver? What does that have to do with this case? Mm. Mr. Edgeworth, think back to the day of the crime. He was ordered to bring it. What is this screwdriver doing here? It's here because... <laughs> I was asked to go by Chief Gant, no less. Mm -hmm. He told me he wanted me to keep it here in the prosecutor's office. In any case, on the day of the stabbings, I brought this back here. After the ceremony ended that day, I didn't plan to return to the prosecutor's office. But you did, because Chief Gant asked you to. You mean I... I... The body was found in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car. I think it's obvious what happened. The body was moved by that car. And Edgeworth by no less. Poor Edgeworth. Poor Edgeworth. Detective Goodman's body was carried in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car. Yes. Unless, of course, you have another explanation, Chief. Why else would you have asked Mr. Edgeworth to transport evidence from a closed case? There's only one plausible explanation. To transport the body to your accomplice, Miss Lana Sky. Order! 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 What's going on here? Is there no room for rebuttal to the defense's outrageous ac accusations? Think back to the photograph Miss Starr took at the prosecutor's office. This was not a photo of the body being stuffed in the trunk to be taken away. It was exactly the opposite. Opened up. It's a photo of the body being taken from the trunk. Chief Gant, please say something. I believe... Your time is up. My time's up? Sorry, Raito, but I'm having lunch with the uh, district attorney general after this. We have to get going if we're going to make it in time for the early bird special. What? But, but, the cross-examination isn't finished yet. Remember what I told you earlier, police chief has all kinds of weapons at his disposal. Weapons? Someone needs to put him under arrest immediately. Like the, uh. like the right to refuse to testify. I'm invoking that right now. What? This isn't a right to be casually invoked. There are certain risks to be considered. You're going to just run away after all this. Run away! Don't make me laugh, Worthy. <sighs> I stabbed good old 
You are stabbed old Goodman. That's what you're saying, right? But if you had any conclusive evidence, you would have presented it by now. Well, I... You think I had Lana dispose of the body? If so, then show your proof to g and get it over with. Uh, it's just a litany of proof. There's no cross-examination. Ah, I'll say it again, Mr. Wright. Damon Gant is the current chief of police. This court will not tolerate any accusations against him without concrete proof. Well, Mr. Wright, your honor, do you have any concrete proof? Proof that Chief Gant murdered Detective Goodman and made Miss Skye dispose of his body. Do you have any concrete proof? Present the... A single stab wound. So, what what knife did he use on Goodman then? Was it? It couldn't have been Edgeworth. Was it that murder, that one from the evidence? Probably not. Hmm. You don't think it was the cloth, do you? What, this? No. Oh, it bears Emma Skye's prints. Wait, was there... No, that was just the phone number. Think of it, I don't have a strap on my mobile phone at all. I hate having useless things dangling off of it. Thanks, Phoenix. Phoenix irrelevant. No, we can't see if there was a call given to her on that one. So concrete proof that he was involved in this murder. I am tired, I don't know. So... I mean, the locker was left mm. open, but concrete proof that he murdered Goodman. That's just Edgeworth's parking ticket. It wasn't that because that was her evidence. Wait, what was the trace? Blood from Goodman and Lana Sky. I mean, that evidence was from the evidence room, though, right? The knife. How did it get to Lana? Unless she took it out of his body. And replaced it with Edgeworth's dagger. Yeah, we could try the switchblade knife. Do you want to save and try that? Or did you already save? Because that would have had to have been taken out of the evidence locker, used to stab Goodman, and then... Okay. Don't let him just squirm his way out of this. I've got to keep the pressure on. Yes, Your Honor, I do have such evidence. I guess it would make sense, because it was in... It was in Goodman, but, well, okay, it was in the muffler of Edgeworth's car, and that was something that only she would have had access to if she got on the body. Yeah. But please hurry up and present it. Just remember, to prove Damon Gant murdered Detective Goodman beyond a shadow of a doubt. Uh, but, because only Gant entered that room with Goodman, I... And the the knife went with him question I don't have anything I don't nope oh, oh uh, exactly what is this evidence it's proof as to whether or not it's enough to demonstrate the chief's guilt I'll let you be the judge but I am the judge oh right well what do you think your honor what I think Mr. Uh, Wright, is I'm going to be not... late for lunch really okay I suppose I'm being a little bit too convoluted with it yeah
Murder Detective Goodman Beyond the Shadow of Now. Well, that was because of the whole Marshall business. What fingerprint did we get off of the locker? Yeah, the glove was suspicious, but... Yeah, but it feels wrong. No. Keep going. That's... that's Marshall's. That's Emma's Wait. fingerprints. What are you looking at? The IDs, but... Well, I think we're barking up the wrong tree. Hmm? Why would he kill him? Mm -hmm. I think it's Goodman's note. Because oh. what I was thinking is... What I was thinking is... Why would Gant want to kill Goodman? It's because... It's because... Goodman was going to transfer the evidence. But was there evidence there that he Wait, wanted why access why would why wouldn't he want Goodman to Oh to close oh, the case. No 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 no. Uh, it was it's um Marshall's testimony. Marshall had said that he had convinced Goodman to open the case back up. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. Yeah, he had said that. Do we have any proof of that? Well, that's what the note would have been. But it wasn't. What about Goodman's autopsy? Four and a half inch knife, a single stab wound was found. Yeah, so we could try the autopsy. No, 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 no. I, what about the shoe? Because there was no blood on the ground of the garage, but there was a substantial amount of blood that would have been in the evidence room. But that doesn't prove that Gant did it, does it? I wonder, not this! Not this! Not this. Beautiful. Oh, no, that's blood from Goodman and Lana Sky, but Goodman's was on the bottom. Now the glove was left behind. No, no, but the glove wasn't. I just figure, it costs us nothing to save scum this. And I'm a little tired for how complex this gets, mm -hmm. so... It wouldn't be... We're, we're trying to find something that connects him to Goodman. Wait, maybe it is this. Why? It's closed. Nope. I'm doing mad leaps of logic. How about I have no proof yet? No use showing evidence. I'm not even sure of myself. No, Your Honor. At present, I have no conclusive evidence. Ah, see, RG? In that case, this court is forced to penalize you for your allegations against the chief. What? What? As a tip, never gamble when what you can't afford to lose, Righto. It seems that Lady Luck was on my side again today. Okay, Aji, I'll leave the rest of you. He just gets to leave. Ah! Oh. I warned you earlier, Mr. Wright. This is an affront. You're a senior officer in our nation's law enforcement agency. Uh, what? Objection. Oh. Uh. Lady Luck, hmm? Maybe we should have a word with her. Mr. Edgeworth, what do you mean? 
There's one lady who knows the real truth behind this trial. We haven't had the honor of hearing her testimony. The lady who knows the truth. Another witness. Well, Lana, wouldn't it? Yep. In the absence of conclusive evidence, my only the only other t method of proof is testimony. But Chief Gant has invoked his right to refuse to testify. There's still someone else, one more witness, who can answer all the questions. Hmm. All the questions raised in this trial. Someone right in this very room. I wonder. Sorry. I had something really pokey on my finger. Mr. Edgeworth, who is this person? Huh. Why are you asking me, Your Honor? Have you forgotten? The defense is the one calling witnesses today. Mr. Wright, does such a witness exist? She may not be willing to tell the truth, but we can't just stop now. Yes, Your Honor. The defense calls for... Meekins. Wander, that's not... E not even a lady. I thought we were talking. We we're walking the same path together, Mr. Wright. It appears somewhere along the way you got lost. Oh. You better find your way back, Mr. Wright. You'll be left behind. There's another witness you could expose. Yeah, sorry. Just always, always Meekins. <laughs> I need a bit of a break. Okay, so calls forth Lana. Lana. The defendant. I mean, she's Ms. the one being blackmailed. Lana Sky. She was in the underground parking lot at 5.15 on February 21st. <laughs> Did you just assume Megan's gender? <laughs> I hate it when people do that. They've been using he pronouns all this time, and... I know. I just amused me. I'm sorry, I'm easily amused right now. Her task, to dispose of the victim's body. In accordance with a certain someone's orders. Ah, Mr. Edgeworth? The prosecution has no objections, Your Honor. Very well, the co court cowards. Court will now take its final recess for the day. In 15 minutes, we will reconvene to hear the defendant's testimony. This court is now in re. Who's that? Probably Lana. Lana or Emma or someone. Or Gant. Hold on. Huh? Oh, oh, you're right. It is Gant. Chief Gant, I thought you were going to go eat. Listen good, Lana. Oh. Isn't this evidence enough that he's trying to yeah. continue to blackmail and coerce people? He's talking to Lana. I don't think you need me to tell you this, but if you accept Mr. Wright's claims, there will be terrible consequences. What? Did, can't this be used against him? Can any of this? That's right. Your sister will be found guilty for Neil Marshall's murder. God, this isn't good. Of course you'd never support such outrageous claims anyway, right? Just something to think about. Alright then. I've got a lunch date to meet. Huh. Okay, if there aren't any further objections. This court is now in recess. I did not want to interrupt any of that. That long pause is just... Perfect. Ooh. Oh, February 25th, 2.04 p.m. District PM court. PM came back. PM came back. Defendant lobby number two. Looks like we managed to stay in the game. Yeah, thanks to your help, Edgeworth. That chief, he's something else, hey, pals? Detective Gumshoe? <laughs> I'm not a detective anymore. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Nah, don't worry. I've already decided where to work now. At your office. My office? Sure. I'll take the place of that top knotted girl you used to work with. I would absolutely <laughs> play that game. Like, Gumshoe just shows up dressed as Maya. He, like, oh, finds no. one of her spare, like, outfits. It doesn't fit at all. The, like, weird necklace is, like, on his head like some kind of weird crown. I'd play the shit out of that game. It'd be great. You don't even have to pay him anything, because no matter what, it's it's more than he was being paid as a detective. Anyway, I'll take the place of that top-knotted girl you used to work with. 
Oh, wait, no, I'm using Gant's voice for him. Could he mean Maya? Still, looks like we're all out of moves now. Chief Gant's done it again. How's it he always gets the upper hand? It's not fair he has the right to refuse to testify. Huh. Settle down, right? Remember what the judge said. But Chief, that's not a right to be casually invoked. There are certain risks to be considered. Risks? What did he mean by that? It's simple. If the Chief refuses to testify, the opposite also holds true. Hmm. Emma. Um, or Lana. No, it's Emma. It's gonna be Emma? Yeah. You mean, he forfeits his right to say anything, too? Yep, you're right. Lana was not going to be exuberant. Nah, not, not with an exclamation point at the end. Emma, are you okay? Yeah, when I came to, I was in the medical office. I've been listening to the trial from the gallery. So she heard everything that's been going on. Um, Emma, I'm sorry for what I said before. No, don't be. It was the truth. You know, it's funny. I almost feel somehow relieved. Relieved? Yeah. Now I finally know what really happened. To think that all this time... My sister was being blackmailed by that terrible man! And she did it all just to protect me. Ever since her appointment as chief prosecutor, everyone who knew her said she had changed. Perhaps it was easier that way for her. What do you mean? What do you think I mean? To follow Chief Gant's orders, she must have shut herself up, shut, uh, shut herself up deep inside, forced herself to do anything and everything the chief told her to do. That must be why she became so cold. It was all my fault. It's all because I, I murdered Mr. Marshall. Hey, don't go blaming yourself now. We don't want to blame anyone. Blame society, pal. Chief Gant may be able to fool everyone else with his forgery. But he can't fool my memory. I remember now. I knocked Mr. Marshall into that armor. I... I see. Well, I better get back. It's time for the final act. Emma, why don't you wait here? No. I'm going with you. I want to be there. When Lana tells the truth. Let's go, right. It's time to end this. To be continued.